Hello and welcome everybody to episode 5 of this podcast that we might name Camping Buddies as we've said in the last one. Uh, I'm joined by Hector Alice Major and our special guest, Kelly! Hey, Kelly, please, yeah, introduce yourself. I'm Kelly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that'll do it. Shoot. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know everything about you now. <laughs> Yep. Says in the no. name. <laughs> Says it in the name. <laughs> uh, go ahead and you want to uh, you want to give Kelly some backstory. Kelly, some back. So, you know, actually, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Uh, Kelly and I had met in high school, my freshman year, and then you decided to abandon me until like after high school, and now we're you know now we're buddies so, again, like, and I decided what, a few to. Literally until a few months ago, it was pretty sad. I honestly never thought we'd talk again. I was pretty sad. Um, but here we are now, and uh, Kelly and I are better friends than even before. Um, he actually, an interesting fun fact, which he probably won't even talk about. Maybe he's shy. I don't know. But fun fact, he actually uh, does 3D animations and I actually very fancy his ideas. Wow, you're gonna make people blush. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one time we were watching you make something, though. You oh my some, god. Like, freak, freaky monster from like my nightmares. <laughs> uh, is it okay if I say, if I uh, tell him I did? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I was making this alien character. I, everyone was in it, but. Um, for context, I was making this alien character, and I was like, you know what? I can make some fat tits on this alien. <laughs> and I made the most succulent-looking tits. It was so perfect. Uh, succulent. They were yeah, quite they're... succulent. I, I He literally brought me through the tutorial on how to make tits, and I and I was very intrigued. They're like, I didn't tell milkers like... times ten. <laughs> they were some badonk donkers, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you for the marks and veins to it to actually make it more. <laughs> yes, choice. yes, you actually yeah. did. That was fucking yeah. wild too. It looked, it actually looked very good. Uh, well, minus the well, once you, the first time you did it when you showed me, it looked good. The, the other time where you were uh, kind of pushing the limits of God, I don't know. <laughs> pushing the limits of God, like that spider lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was. One. Yeah, oh the one that started out as like a normal housewife and turned into your worst nightmare. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, there's that introduction, Kelly, or our good friend. Uh, the first topic that I wanted to talk about in the podcast would be a woman actually pulled a gun on Chipotle workers. And I, I, so I work at Chipotle, uh, Hector House Major works at Chipotle. We, we had a, uh, we had a, we have a group chat. I have a group chat with my Chipotle and someone actually sent a, like the news article. Like it was just nothing but that for some reason. And it was like this lady, uh, I think they were like waiting on steak or some shit like that. Like it's really not that big a deal, but apparently she was hungry, and like there's like oh, it's only gonna be like another like two minutes or something like that. And like you see her like put her purse on that like, um, it's not a shelf, but it's like the thing that like makes the booth. the glass. No, no, she. It's like the thing that's like the. Ledge. It's the back end of the yeah, like a ledge kind of. The, the, like the, palms the, on when you look at the food. No, so behind, so oh, it's in deceiving? front of the glass. Yeah, it's it's behind the booth. It's what makes the booth. Okay. okay. Like, my Chipotle doesn't have booths, but I get what you're talking about. Really, that's lame as fuck. Anyway, um, so <laughs> she puts her purse on scene. that, starts okay. digging through it like she's looking for like, like tic tacs or something, and she has like this ginormous purse. She digs through it, and I'm pretty sure someone was sitting, like, where she put her purse, too, so I'm pretty sure her strap hit that dude in the head. She, like, reaches in and, like, pulls down her purse again, and then, like, just puts the gun up, like, hip, like, hip height, as, like, give me my fucking food. 
Oh. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, it was Put pretty bad. Put the steak bowl in the bag. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and, so, and so, obviously, they're like... I, I don't know, like, you can't see what the members did, like, you can't see what the crew did, but you, you only see in the video what her, like, pulling out the gun. And, uh, the... She does it twice, so, like, she puts it away after the first threat, and then, like... I think so they like asked it like her. a like an old western draw. Yeah, thing. yeah, kind of like an old <laughs> western draw cuz like she didn't want it to be like seen too much. And like I think her boyfriend was like covering her quite a bit so that other people behind them wouldn't panic. But like holy fuck. Like imagine being her boyfriend and being like and supporting her on that. Yeah, what the like fuck? nah, I got I got me a crazy bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some milk or something. Texas <laughs> Karen's be wild now. Holy shit. Yeah. Is it in Texas? N no, just. I, gun crazy I have no bitch. idea. Great, great. Right. <clears throat> Fucking I, Republicans, I, man. Honestly, it sounded like a Florida thing the She's second amazing. I heard it. I like, don't know. Steak takes a while to cook anyway, right? It takes uh, like. No, steak is actually one of the quicker ones. Yeah, I think it's like oh. five, ten minutes. A few minutes. It, it takes longer to cut than it does to cook. Yeah, because you have to like, wait a second. Right? I don't fucking know, dude. She pulled a gun. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like, I assumed that, like, she was waiting on something. That's why I'm like, yeah. Anyway. Um, She's been Chipotle is good enough <laughs> to fucking wave a gun around. I, I just think it's I'm... that good. Yeah. What do, you mean, what do you mean you don't have vinaigrette? Make <laughs> some. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I mean, like, it's for her to not only do it once, but do it twice. Like, she pulls it out again at the same height and, um, I think threatens the cashier. Like, not even for the money either. This isn't for money. Like, this she is was for still gonna pay food. and everything. She just wanted it faster. Yeah, I think so. Some shit like that. Like, <laughs> and I was nuts. talking to my coworkers about it because they all saw it, obviously. And they're like, bro, that is the definition. That is the embodiment of hangry. <laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, shit, so. maybe she was like, is this controversial to say she's on her period? <laughs> That's pretty bad. But like I mean, you know what? Being on your period and hangry as fuck on, after a long day, like... That's that. Would you that pull might a gun for a good boy? You know what? You know what? If I was her boyfriend, I would have let that shit slide. Cause if I wouldn't, like, I would have been the one getting fucking capped, dude. Right. I... <laughs> Get fucking pistol whipped or some shit. He's like, shut the fuck shut up, up, Tommy. I want my steak bowl. <laughs> if you're not gonna say anything, I have to step up. If you're that... not gonna do this, hold on. <laughs> you just sounded <laughs> like a different person just now. Oh, that, that was really good. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know. I imagine the lady being a bit older. Like, I don't see some young millennial girl whooping out a gun and yeah. saying, she, That's like the know. craziest thing. Like, I think Max, she was like 30 years old. She was probably going through menopause. Really? You 30 don't years old? That early. Yeah, she gets. Don't girls go through stuff when they're in menopause? Like, emotion wise. Like, menopause is like mid 40s if early any 40s i think if anything 30s is like no people still have kids at like late 30s oh you know what yeah you can still get your period goes to show how much you yeah. know about girls <laughs> <I just>... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit we were oh, literally God. just talking about this <laughs> Oh fuck. Yeah, but I mean <laughs> moving on from the fucking crazy Chipotle lady. Alright. Okay. Uh into into the thick of it now. Uh this entire podcast it looked like a Glock. Good choice. <laughs> yeah, good choice for <laughs> robbing a Chipotle of their yeah. steak. That shit better be well done. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Who the fuck wants a well done the steak? Fuck from... want... what the... We asked we asked them kindly yet firmly to leave. <laughs> yeah. 
Fuck. I always try to cook it medium it's... rare. Fuck. Oh, kill the dog. Um. All right. Well, this entire podcast after that story is mostly gonna be about video games. Uh, the next two are uh well the first one is about a video game the next is about a series uh but just segue yeah segue do, 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 do. overwatch sombra and bastion reworks in overwatch 2 uh kelly you know the most about this i'm gonna let you take the lead on that okay. so i think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday they announced reworks for sombra and bastion uh, oh, Bastion no longer um, for his ultimate he does an altir- uh, altil- ar- artillery like launch you know what I mean it's no longer his like tank form he drives around it's like he stays he, at like, one spot he blasts stuff into his sky or something he blasts stuff in the sky and he chooses where it lands kind of like a doom fist all it's kind of lame hmm. I feel he like Bastion a... was stupid, overpowered anyway, though. That kind of sounds like the ability from, um, was it Hyperscape? Where you, like, shoot up in the sky and then, like, you smash down on someone. That yeah. that was Doomfist. I think it's that needed. Was it's, with that speed and that ultimate, it's a bit much. But, um, he has a lower rate of fire when he is in just walking form. Does and he still have he... turret mode? He sort of does. He can go into turret mode and he can drive around in it. And Son of like a the... bitch! Yeah. Son of a bitch! He can move like that now? I think it's a slower speed when he in that mode. But it kind of balances out him with a little slower fire and walking faster and vice versa. That is horse shit. That is horse shit. I... Bastion has always been, like, regardless of what time in Overwatch it's been, he's always been, like, literally one of the most overpowered characters. It's, he's always been stupid, stupid strong. And, like, before, uh, when Overwatch, like, first came out, he was at... He had a shield. Mm-hmm. He um... had a fucking shield with that shit. That was awful. Oh, um, anyway, what about the uh, Sombra? Sombra, oh my god. I always loved Sombra. She was like my favorite when she first came out, and I was so hyped for her. Ditto. So, um, she can now hack while invisible. Sick. Needed. And when you when you hack somebody, it gives them... Um, you know Zenyana's like, uh, orb thing? If you hit someone, it like stays on to them, and it like... Oh yeah, 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 Discord, yeah. Yeah, so she basically hacks them and gives them Discord, and it'll take out like, yeah, it'll just help buff them getting killed. Um, nice. So they don't have their abilities, and they're weaker. Yes. That is a and she... fat buff. Yeah, she's, yeah, she got fucking hella buffed in this one. Is she in her nice. ultimate? takes off 40% of their health. And no uh, shit, isn't that what? Effect? Mm-hmm. Whoa. That's going to be a fucking... Oh my god. So, Hector, so you don't know, uh, in Overwatch, Sombra, uh, her ultimate is like an EMP, kind of like how Cryptos works. Uh, mm. But she is the EMP, so when you activate it, she lets out this burst from her... And what your goal is, is try to get uh, all six members of the enemy team within that orb so that they can't use their uh, abilities at all. But now it does that and it takes 40 damage off of each of them. So potentially if they're all low, you can kill someone with an EMP, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Is it... That is pretty wild. It's 40% of their, like, current health. So if if they were at, like, 50%, it wouldn't... Or wait, well, if they were at 40%, then it would only take, like, 25? I'm not too sure if it's just 40% of... I think it's 40% of the base They're 100% health, and they just divide it evenly that way. Or just, if you... Oh. That's a lot Sorry, of math. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot 
That's a lot of fucking... Like, imagine having to be the guy that programs that. Holy shit. Like, Sorry, you take 40% of the damage... You take 40% damage out of the percentage of uh, health that you and have remaining. And they could be yeah. discorded at the same time, so it could be even more. So you have to factor that. Holy fuck. Fuck. And they could be getting shot at at the same time. Imagine. Jeez. That would crash the Two fucking characters. game. Two character reworks. Imagine, like, any other characters trying to get fucking reworked. It's, a, it's not even, like, reworked. It really just seems like a giant buff. Like, I'm... Honestly, I would have been happy with just the fact that she can hack invisible now. <laughs> that's, that's pretty nice. She seems translucent when she hacks while invisible, and then just shuts right off when she's done. Oh, so when she does hack, she still comes out of invisibility. A little bit. It's like translucent. Okay. Well, does she? And... Well, is she invisible when she's done, or is it like? It goes right back to invisibility. Okay, sick. Yeah, no, that's that's a buff. I like that. <laughs> I like and also, that when she hacks someone, you can see them through the wall. So. Oh no! Mm. Fucking shot, dude. Sombra's gonna She's be gonna disgusting be a in Overwatch too. Yeah, I'm. I'm a fucking play a lot of that. My two favorite characters are Sombra and uh, Ash. There you go. Yeah. Which Ash is gonna get fucked in this next game because of Mc McGee. Oh yeah, we don't even know his name. <laughs> we don't even know what his name's gonna be. It's bullshit. That was, a, that was I think that was literally one of the topics in our first episode. <laughs> that was was that the first episode? Mm. Yes. Wow. I think so. Dang. All right. Well, yeah, no. Uh, Overwatch two, bro. They promised that so fucking long ago. It's literally been like two, three years since that trailer came out. There was a trailer yeah. for it. There's a trailer for Overwatch two, like two, three years ago. Sure, it wasn't fan made. No, it was it was made by Blizzard. Damn. Yeah, and, and they released uh, some gameplay at one level. Yeah, they did, and I think they were playing as Hanzo. Um, actually, that's so. And so, I used to work at Ralph's uh, over there, and um, we actually had a few Blizzard workers come in to shop at my Ralph's. Oh. Uh, and I would ask him, I'm like, so where, I, I don't mean to be this guy, but where's Overwatch 2? And they're like, well, you know, the trailer's out. I'm like, that's not what I'm asking, lady. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. Um, shoot. Uh, they're, they're like, I was like, what's your opinions on Echo? Because I was like around the time Echo came out. And they're like, oh, did that trailer come out? Am I supposed to talk about that? <laughs> so um that was that was always interesting seeing the blizzard um uh, devs and there wasn't even just overwatch there's also like world of warcraft and stuff like that still like blizzard yeah. entertainment activision yeah they're speaking like, huh? uh, <laughs> sorry i was like now they're probably getting tarred and feather if they're out on the fucking street yeah well, I don't know. Like those guys actually might have been some of the victims. I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. Yeah. I mean, some of them were. One dude would come in wearing a junk rat jacket. Imagine how depressed he was. <laughs> Working at a fucking frat party. Kappa <laughs> Blizzard Kappa. Kappa <laughs> Blizzard Kappa. <laughs> I'm gonna turn myself down a little bit. Um. Speaking of entertainment, because you said Blizzard Entertainment, that's what I was going to segue. <laughs> Netflix's Cowboy Bebop, you know more about that than we do as well, so go ahead and lead on that. Whatever Netflix touches will turn to fucking shit. Alright? Yeah. I'm not... I'm going to still watch it, but I'm going to be disappointed. I'm just... I'm preparing myself for it. Is it, um, like, an Asian actor? Or is it, like, a well-known yeah. actor? Well, or? Let's the start with guy. the casting. Um, the casting, Spike Spiegel's awful. Uh, the guy is 5'8". He's very short. And Ooh. Spike is 6'1". Yes, yeah, Spike is pretty First, tall. He's tall. Um, 
I always imagined Spike that. being more like, well, I don't know. I always didn't like uh, viewed Spike as like kind of like from like Middle Eastern descent a little bit, like Arabic descent a little bit. Yeah, because his guns from uh, it kind of like. Looks like... Yeah, yeah and I, I, need to watch I have no problem with Jet. Know. Jet's, I always yeah. pictured him. I always pictured Jet as a, a black guy. He's super tall. The actor's super tall. I'm perfectly happy with him. He's cool. And then Faye Valentine, the actress is good. I think she's in the right area, but I kind of pictured Faye as, like, as Asian descent over uh, Hispanic. Um, I feel like that's going to be really awkward when it comes down to uh, like in her... I think, right? I don't know. I, I might be mixing up characters. <laughs> I need to watch Cowboy Bebop. Like, romantically, or? Yeah, isn't that, isn't uh, the uh, female you're talking about, isn't that the one that's the kind of woman that will actually just kill him? She's like the main girl with the purple hair, right? Yeah, with the yellow suit. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I think she's more white than anything. She's very fair skinned. I would either picture either white or in the Asian category. Yeah. yeah. Um, they well, fucked like, up not her outfit. Just her skin, like her her face looks more white. Yeah. Her does Caucasian, he, I should say. Does he usually? Is he one of those characters that usually like takes things seriously, or is he like a uh, fuck around kind of character? Like, uh, even like a serious situation, he'll be like smoking or some shit like that. He's yeah. very good with the flow. Yeah. He's nonchalant with deadly situations, and he will tease and he'll jest. I really um, hope that the actor like takes that into account and doesn't like make it like a serious action movie or some shit like that. I kind of want to say he's like a space cowboy Spider Man. Space cowboy Spider, so but not really. Star- I, don't know. I still haven't finished that. <laughs> that was Spider Man. He's not not really an like Spider Man at all. He's like the Punisher if he like makes jokes. Holy fuck! The, really? The like, Punisher? I guess, or maybe the maybe Daredevil. Maybe Daredevil. Uh, yeah. Um, a Green trailer. Arrow. Is what I guess I gotta about. watch it. <laughs> Green Arrow is what you're thinking about. Skillful but funny. Green maybe. Arrow is not. That's Green not... Arrow is badass as fuck. Oh, Actually, so read a comic. Serious. No, he's not. In the in the show Arrow, he's serious. Read a fucking okay. comic. Holy shit! No. I mean, if you had to choose either goofy or fun or serious, he's more serious. He's interesting. So, he's somewhat melancholy some episodes because he's like depressed. He misses this a little bit depressed. He's t- a tiny bit. Interesting. I actually wasn't but, reading that off of that at all. Uh, yeah, he's not really much of a jokester. Um. I have no problem with the actor displaying that, but it's just a bad pick. Yeah. They showed off the intro for the show, and I oh, had some speculation. What... Yeah, it's a whole ass show on. Oh, yeah, oh. I said it was a movie. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a movie as well. Um. All right. So I thought I had like some speculation on what they were going to do with the show. I don't know if they were going to go like, okay, so with the three first characters, which is Spike, Jet, and Faye. They, uh, they're the first ones to appear, and then Edward, the little girl, will pop up later on to the show. So I thought, okay, it's just these episodes take place in between this time after they meet Faye and then before they meet Edward. But they're just remaking all the fucking episodes, and it just looks god-fucking-awful. So, they're, wait, so they're, they're remaking everything after he meets Faye? It looks like they're diving into more of the episodes after they meet Edward. Which should be reserved when she gets there. Um, she wasn't such a big character in those episodes, but she's a part of the crew, regardless. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I mean, they all. Mm-hmm. They also changed a phase outfit. They changed the outfit. How the fuck? Change at the fucking yeah. most. I get it. I. Um, she wears like this rather a uh, red leather jacket, like a yellow top, and then black pants, which. Very practical. I get they're it. Like but... a, they're not even pants. They're like a jean skirt with like um, leggings, like see-through leggings, and then it oh, looks like yeah. long leather boots. 
Are they making I her just... like more feminine? No, her uh, before off it was like super skimpy. I get it why they don't want to do it, but I wish they paid more homage to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, she just like Faye's very lazy in the show. She's very like also kind of go with the flow. She kind of lets all the guys do all the heavy work, and she uses her, <laughs> her feminine like qualities to like lure people in or to like get job done. That's what she usually right. does. Okay, in this one she looks like. A total badass, which really isn't Faye. And I feel like the actress feels like she's a badass just because I don't think she just ever saw the she show. Is Faye. <laughs> yeah. She don't think she ever watched it. I don't think so. I don't <laughs> want to like that. Would fucking suck. That would fucking suck so bad. I feel Holy like that should shit. be a requirement. Yeah. Well, she was like a lot of people were reaching out to her saying like this sucks, like this outfit sucks. I don't know why she looks like this. And then she was like. Well, you know what? Sorry, I can't wear an outfit that just seeps into all my crevices and like makes me wear, like have a wedgie. But Jeez. if you go back, like she wears this outfit like while she was modeling, she was wearing like the same exact thing, but like with in a purple suit. So oh, yeah. it's, it's doable, but it's not very practical if you're like on the show for like a long ass time. Right. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that actually uh, reminds me. I didn't. I haven't even thought about this. Uh, I don't know if it's a Netflix original as well, but um, there's also going to be a One Piece live action. Oh jeez. And but but apparently there is like really high hopes for it. Um, a lot mm. of One Piece fans are like, uh, or at first were like, oh. Fuck, no way they're gonna ruin One Piece right now. But as it turns out, Oda, the creator of One Piece, is overseeing the entire project. So that's what they said about the Avatar live action. Was he overseeing I think he I think they were overseeing they, the new and, over Yeah, they were gonna oversee the, the new creation one, of the they? the live act the Netflix live action Avatar the Last Airbender was being overseen by the original creators because they wanted to keep it true to how it was. And then they abandoned it because it was ended up not going how they wanted it. Right. I think Netflix is still going through with it without them, though, which is Netflix will literally pick up anything. You can fart on a script and you can hand it in. They'll give you a show. Looks good. Yeah, (laughs) looks good. (laughs) Oh, yeah, this is going to tank. I love that. (laughs) <laughs> for one piece like all those characters look fucked up like looks like they oh have, like, yeah i have no idea shoulder. how the, i have no idea how they're gonna do frankie i have no idea how they're gonna do chopper it's gonna be a fucking interesting experience and you know what if oda actually is overseeing all of it and it actually goes smooth i can imagine that the cgi is gonna be so fucked up like you're gonna have to be used to seeing yeah. these fucked up characters in three like, D. How are they so gonna do Luffy's like stretchy arms? Yeah, I kind of hope they don't fuck that up at all. I really hope they don't. I, I think it's supposed to be, uh, the Alabasta arc, which is like one of the like very early ones. Um, I don't. I think it's a movie. I don't think it's a series. I think it's a movie. Um, but shit, if it's a series and my kid, I don't know. Imagine like 20 years from now when your kid comes up to you and is like, Daddy, Daddy, I just finished One Piece. I'm like, oh shit, son, that must have taken you a while. I was like, no, the movie's only like two hours. You just start like, you know, beating the shit out of your kid. (laughs) (laughs) Go to your room and finish up the whole fucking series. Get the fuck in your room right now. <laughs> you gonna watch fucking filler? Hell no. Worst punishment ever. What? No. One Piece One Piece has like no filler. There's like in the entirety of the... there has to be filler. Eight hundred episodes, nine hundred. There's so in arcs, like there's episodes that are kind of throwaway. But then there's also like they're also like half canon and like they still progress the story, but it's also like, oh, this is the backstory of one of the fucking uh, Coliseum fighters that aren't really important, but we want to show you because fuck it. We're saving the animation for the big fight between Luffy and Doflamingo. 
Okay, so One Piece has uh, 99 reported filler episodes, which is 10%. Yeah, that's oh, not bad. Yeah. Like, that's less than... 10%, the, yeah. yeah. It is it one all. less than 100 out of ni- out of almost 1,000. That's so good. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, that's one hell of a feat to do all that. Yeah, and, like, some things you, like, think is a filler, but then you end up watching it anyway, because it's, like, it's actually interesting. There's only, like, one that I completely skipped, because I was like, all right, yeah, no, I, I'm kind of tired of this motherfucker. Hmm. And and then I just went straight to the next arc, and it was that easy. It's literally, like, two episodes, too. Like, they the max amount of fillers at a time they have is two. So... I'm not I trying to promote One Piece. Piece right? Yeah, you should pick up One Piece. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. That's what I'm saying. That's all, that's all I'm saying. The um, majority of the Cowboy Bebop show is filler. Like, there's only some episodes that progress. Like, probably like one, two, or three. But the filler is what is really good. Like, I think I bet, the only... Yeah, I bet there's, like, absolutely good filler in Cowboy Bebop. Because I feel like... like uh, the characters In so shows cool. where you don't have to progress the characters a whole lot it's it's fine like you watch ben 10 and he like matures even throughout like episodes that aren't super important and shit like that Mm. i don't know avatar uh, there's fillers and avatar yeah no like i'm just saying like there's a lot of tv shows that we used to watch as a kid that are that probably had a filler kind of episode that Mm. didn't progress the character at all but it was still good because it was entertaining yeah like Naruto I mean, filler is probably like the worst. Like Naruto if it's filler is character- so bad. Naruto, dude, there was so many fillers that actually contradicted the actual canon. There was one where this guy was like burying people alive, and he had like these, uh, the blades of lightning or whatever, and yeah. he was using them to like dictate this entire town. And then Naruto shows up, and they like drop a boulder on the guy, and he's like dead or something, but he's undead. I don't know. It's a whole thing, but like he ends up getting buried with the swords when he does die, and then later with on we swords? see, yeah, he gets buried with the swords. And then in the Great Ninja War, uh, some like the person who actually owned the swords is resurrected. And they have the swords. It's like, what the fuck? Where did you get that? I mean, it's you not did... that far of a jump. Like, fucking Orochimaru would dig people up. Hella. He didn't have those fucking swords, though. That's what I'm Like, there's no shot he, he could even dig it up. that. He didn't even know where that was. It was a I don't filler. Know, man. But that doesn't... That filler doesn't compare to the one that just, like, scarred me. It it, it it was um what it was in Shippuden, um it's the one where they make Nar or they make a Naruto android or robot or whatever. Oh my like. god, yeah, that was that so one, bad. I couldn't. I I just I could, I fucking couldn't with that one. That one was so bad. It was like wearing a cloak the entire time, and I think uh, Kabuto made it or some shit like that. I don't, I didn't watch it. I and like, then, like, it comes out and starts sucking I chakra. And I was like, oh my god, it so was it's like so wearing, bad. It's like wearing a cloak and kicking everyone's ass, and then everyone, like, like, circles it, and, like, its little cloak falls off, and it's like, oh my god, Naruto, it's you! Oh my god. Just, like, how many drugs were they on where they decided yeah, that was yeah. a good idea? There is one good filler in Naruto, and that's the one where, like, they all, like, were sitting outside for, like, recording their lines like they know it's a TV show. Hmm. I thought that was funny. And, like, they're like, okay, Hinata, your lines are... (sighs) (laughs) Naruto-kun. And she's just like... There were some good fillers in there. I nailed it! They didn't even seem like fillers entirely. Like, uh, Kakashi's backstory was filler, I'm pretty sure. Or not his backstory, it was like one where he was like a uh, younger teen, uh, and he was still using like his little mini katana, his Tonto, I think it was. And, um, what, like he went to like save some town that was like disappearing in caves or something. And it had a pretty cool fight, too. Uh, are you was, talking like, his, about, younger, are you talking like, about, uh, when. I don't know if that was when he was on the Itachi, when Itachi was on his team, but that's like the wind people, isn't it? 
Like if they uh, go I think outside, so. yeah, they yeah. get swept up by the wind. That was I such a so. dumb fucking story, but yeah, that that was a cool fight. Yeah. So, I I remember that fight being pretty sick. And it was Yamato. Yamato was there. Was he? Yeah, that's why Kakashi trusted him with the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, uh, interesting casts, uh, when we were talking about, uh, the Bebop and One Piece, uh, the Mario movie cast is fucking insane. <laughs> I don't, Hector, you yeah, said you know a, nothing about this, right? I think I heard my coworkers say something about Jack Black is gonna be Mario. Uh, that's not even the worst. No, 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 no. Jack Black, my friend. Was it Donkey Kong or Bowser? Kelly? Do, do you remember if it was Donkey Kong or Bowser? That, Sorry, uh... it was it was Bowser. Yeah, I was trying to say yeah. it. <laughs> so, so he's, he, Jack Black is Bowser, and Chris Pratt is Mario. <laughs> what? What? Hold on, let me look this shit up real quick. Mario movie cast. It's a movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Oh, that is not the right Mario movie. Ew. Uh, yeah, no, that is definitely not. Why the fuck Google isn't letting me do mi images? It's only like really popping up with uh, Chris Pratt. I mean, I know there's like other actors in there that are like very well known. Uh, Just go on the IGN uh, Instagram. They probably have like a slide of each actor and character. True. Oh, wait up. Super Mario um, Bros. I think I know all of them who are casted. Cast and crew. Uh, yeah, so we have Pete. Anaya Taylor Joy as Princess Peach, Charlie Day as Luigi, Jack Black as Bowser, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. That's right. As Donkey <laughs> Kong? As Donkey Kong. <laughs> and Keegan Michael Key as Toad. <laughs> oh my gosh. I forgot about How that are... shit. He's like the tallest fucking guy. How are they gonna make him toad? <laughs> I think it's an animated I think this is all only voice acting. Oh like, like okay, voice acting. Okay, thank fucking fuck. god. Except for mocap. Yeah. Imagine if they like dressed him up and shit, Chris Pratt's yeah, I was like, thinking all right, boys. Down, 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 down. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'd love to see a live action Jack Black Bowser, but. Jabitsky! Yeah. Okay, so I don't know. Why, why are they even doing an animated Mario? I, had, I think because Sonic actually did pretty well in the box office. But, like, that used to be a show, right? Did they have a show? Mario and Sonic both had shows. Mario had a show? Yeah, it did. Well, like, even less geez. known than Sonic's, actually. That's interesting. I mean, there used that. to be a live-action Mario There and Luigi was a... Game. Oh, we don't even talk about that. Do you remember <laughs> how Gearbox looks in that shit? That was, no. that was awful. I watched, like, 20 seconds of a clip yeah. from it, and I was like, okay, I'm not watching this anymore. Yeah, it was, it was like, really, really bad. Hmm. Yep. Um, I don't even think there's any more to say about that other than that it's gonna be fucking awesome. Um, well, good for Chris Pratt getting the lead. Yeah. Yeah. But I have I mean, no idea. I don't know how he's gonna was. pull. Like, I have no idea how they're gonna pull off these characters. Like, and like how like Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. Like, what the fuck is Donkey they Kong can, doing? He in the can movie? do it. I don't even. I can't even uh, picture Donkey Kong, I'm Donkey Kong. Or, or, or Bowser having a voice. I I can't even. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, They've only ever laughed. Or What's up, Mario? Dance. Are you ready they don't to really dance? Got personalities. Skidoosh. <laughs> skidoosh. <laughs> Bowser doing a skidoosh. <laughs> 
shit. That's gonna be so good. That's what I'm saying. Like, what's it, what's fucking called? Mario's the gonna have a Walkman. Finger, and finger pinky hold or whatever? The whooshy finger hold, that's it. The whooshy finger hold? Yeah. You're bluffing. You wouldn't dare. Try me. Skadoosh. <laughs> and that, I don't know. I... <laughs> if I can get it real, if I can, like, break it down for you guys. What personality does Mario really have? What personality does Peach really have? Peach They're pretty bland a... characters. Peach, Mario... Peach has the personality of a fucking... Or, like, an onion. Just keeps Princess on getting onion. kidnapped. Is a fucking personality. I, I feel like Daisy is. has more of a fucking personality. Like you, you say say like you're playing like Mario Kart or something. Is your sister or even you are are you choosing Peach or are you choosing Rosalina? First off, Rosalina, she's bottom exactly. bitch out of all the Mario girls. <laughs> Daisy second because Daisy feel like she's more spunky, and then Peach is like sitting there like a fucking statue. Yeah, giggling. that's all she does in another fucking castle. She's and she makes a cake, and you've only ever seen it, like, once. She's like a homunculus. She has no soul. A homunculus? Oh, I get a that homunculus. reference now. I just finished. For the Mr. Krabs one? The Mr. Krabs? Yeah, he's what like, the fuck? that there is my homunculus. <laughs> or something like that. What? What? <laughs> it was like a <laughs> meme or something. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I kind of want to see it, it now. Yeah. I hate yeah. it. That actually reminds me of another stupid thing that I kind of hate. I hate it when people make fucking uh, Spongebob into different anime shit. Like, have you seen the Akatsuki Spongebob edition? Like, it's so stupid. <laughs> like, they just do the entire thing and, like, Spongebob is supposed to be pain because of all his holes. And then fucking, uh... Uh... So I think Squidward was uh, Saucery. The fuck? Oh my god. Datara was... Uh... No, Datara was Squidward, yeah. I don't know. It was so fucking dumb. And then they did that with One Piece too, like... Uh, the admirals and shit like that. They have legitimate statues you can buy as Spongebob being uh, an admiral <laughs> from fucking One Piece. It's so bad. It's like the fucking Jeez. minion meme, but they just like put SpongeBob in these like weird things. Like it's like the gangster SpongeBob. Like, you know that one for sure. He's such like an identifiable character. You can make him into fucking Santa Claus or like anything, and people would recognize him. I guess. Well, That's yeah, why I'm you see like... a bunch of these stupid minion shit where they're like, "You get bitches, but I get page dumb memes or something." Yeah, some shit like that. It's so dumb. I fucking hate those memes. I I deleted Facebook for the sole purpose of getting rid of those trash ass memes. Yeah, I didn't even fuck touch Facebook. Yep. Facebook I know I said I know I said this podcast was gonna be like mostly fucking video games and shit like that. But holy fuck are we talking holy. about entertainment? Holy on shit. Quite a tangent on anime. Yeah, on anime. And this is a anime very anime film. <laughs> anime and mario that's that's the name of the podcast shit. Baby. that's the name of the episode let's get it <laughs> um okay you know moving on moving on from uh the shit fest of anime uh halo infinite how are we feeling about that has anyone seen the trailers or and are you as excited as i am about this because i am insanely excited for halo infinite <sighs> I wish I could be excited. Yeah, I mean, I what feel like they're just wish? kind of... I don't have an Xbox. <laughs> oh, do yeah. you play it on PC? Oh, word. Okay. Yeah, it's on Steam. It's on Steam this time around. Yeah. How about you, Kelly? I'm not really excited about this Halo. I mean, really? I see like the dra grappling hook, and I was like instantly like, okay, Doom. And then kind of copying a little bit i get it it's kind of for more mobility and next generation of a uh, first person shooters i guess that's the right. next route they want to go it's towards like way more fast pace i feel like they're trying to re oh like Cut. step back a little bit and go more towards like halo one. Oh, sorry did i go through yeah you're good you're good okay uh, i feel like they're kind of backpedaling into like halo one territory to where it's like 
like a greener, more cool environment, and it's like open world. And you remember these small guys? You remember you like being the shit Dude, out of them? Dude, I saw that they brought back that fucking chopper from Halo Three. I had just about shit my fucking pants. That was the most fun I've ever had on a vehicle in Halo. I used to, like, I, in Halo 3 days, I would drive that shit around and try to hit the Banshees out of midair. It was so much fucking fun. I think that the last was... one I played was, like, Halo Reach. Yeah, I had lots of fun with that one. Oh, everyone but, loves yeah. Halo Reach. I, I think the top three, actually, are Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and Reach. I think those are, like, the top three. And you know what? I'm gonna... This is a fucking super unpopular opinion, but fuck everyone who hates Halo 4 and 5. Halo 4 and 5 were still very fun. I had an insane amount of fun on Halo 4 multiplayer and campaign, and I didn't play a lot, I didn't play like any multiplayer on Halo 5, but I did like the story. I, I it's fucking sue me. Like, everyone <laughs> it, hates that, those fucking games. They're well, like, Halo they're, 5, they kind of baited like, you're against Master Chief for like a second. Okay. Like, I guess in the trailers, they were like, oh, it's one or the other. You have to choose your side. And it's like, oh, you. It's either Master Chief, this guy I've been playing as for years, or this new fucking guy that I've just met. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was cool seeing, like, I thought it was cool not playing as Master Chief, though. I thought that was sick as fuck. Kind of like and, getting the rest a little bit. Yeah, and like, it brought me back to Halo 3 with the Arbiter. You remember that? Arbiter. Who was the Arbiter? Arbiter was a Covenant. Uh, he was Covenant, but now he's on the, their side. He's the cool one. He's the cool one. He's the he's badass. The cool <laughs> yeah. So Arbiter and I don't know. It, it brought me back to that, and that's what I really liked. And like Cortana's whole meltdown. That was fucking sick. Like eat a dick. It was so cool. Well, she's coming back in Infinite or a version of her. Something like that. I don't. I so in Halo Five, yeah, I'm kind of pissed about that. <laughs> <laughs> I like her faces that she made. I had like these two pictures of her, and like that's cringe with her like weird looking face. <laughs> that's cringe. Yeah. She's like that like ouch like face when she's like in this room full of like anime shit. She's like uh. <laughs> Well, Chief on the hunt to save Cortana or some shit, like every other fucking Halo, um, he he has like a new AI, and she's just like, wait, you want to help Cortana, that crazy bitch? <laughs> and and what are you gonna do with me afterwards? Um, I don't know. I I Stop don't like how like they that. changed. <laughs> I don't like how they changed the uh. Cortana's look. I felt like her look was always iconic, and you couldn't really... I don't think you should have touched that. I mean, hell, for fucking PC and uh, Samsung's, at least for a time, they ran off of Cortana, and I thought that was awesome. That was cool. I remember that. I thought that was fucking sick. Yeah. I remember the uh, multiplayer they were going to show off in Halo Infinite. Like, I thought it was going to be like fully customizable, but they're like, no, you get to buy pieces from the shop. Haha. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh, fuck. Is it actually going to be like that? Because then I'll actually hate it. I, thought fucking... it'd be like I loved Reach. it in Halo 4 because you could unlock the armor depending on like the achievements you would do. Or, like, get this amount of kills and you get this uh, piece of the armor. And, like, that was a good fucking thing. Or, like, you just keep leveling up and you, like, unlock the uh, base set of armors and everything else is, like, uh, challenges. So, like, in Call of Duty, like, uh, you could buy the gun or you could do the challenges to unlock the gun. And I think that that's, like, a way better system, especially for yeah. Halo. Like, don't Ooh, fucking Rick. join the bandwagon of Battle Pass and fucking item shop and all that bullshit. Like, just stick to your roots, because we loved it. It's the fastest way to make money. It's the fastest way to get younger mm -hmm. audiences to fucking shill out money as much as possible. It's true. I mean, it's like, a, a younger audience isn't even going to appreciate Halo, though. 
Like they're gonna be like Halo. Halo. I feel like there's Halo. No, like I feel like kids. It's like, the guy nowadays, from or... Fortnite. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh Fortnite. Uh... Yeah. I feel like even growing up, I had a generation of kids my age growing up with Halo. It's either that or Call of Duty. Oh yeah, it was back in the day. It was Halo or COD, and like. And it's funny because oh. Battlefield was like, it was there, but it wasn't as uh, big of a contender for COD. And honestly, yeah. it probably was better yeah. than COD. I probably I heard think like, it'll ever be better. Of, like two people talk about it when talk about it was all like going down. Yeah, when like yeah. COD and Halo were really popping off. Yep. Like two people said, like, "Oh, I like Battlefield because, because I don't know the realism. Like, there's bullet drop and everything. Like, I don't give a shit." The dude. realism, I ass. Have you seen the recreation of the best trick shot in the world on Battlefield? Mm -mm. Some dude had a trick shot where he, um, I think he flew straight up, and in a jet, jumped out. Sniped a person in a different jet, oh, blowing I think I it do up, know and then caught the jet that he was flying right. and just flew off again. <laughs> and then cool. like recreated. What it are you talking about? That's trailer. super realistic. Yeah, so real. If we're if we're talking about realism, I think Call of Duty, like Modern Warfare, did like did it really good. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare was super like, good in my opinion. So good. Can we like skip Vanguard? Let's go Modern Warfare Two. Bro, honestly, like. Vanguard. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna buy Vanguard. I mean, it's isn't is Vanguard made by Infinity Ward? I think so because there's, it looks better and I there is tactical sprint, but that's the only right. thing I know about Dude, it. Dude, tactical sprint is such a better movement. I fucking hated Cold War's Cold War's movement system. I hated Cold I, it War felt when they so stiff. War zone. It was yeah. Ugh. The models just feel like I don't want to touch the models in Warzone. I'm like, I don't want to touch you guys. I want to go with Modern Warfare. Yeah. I had, right. Modern so, Warfare was way more. Are fun. you guys saying there's a new Call of Duty called Vanguard? Yeah. 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 It's uh, World War II. Have you not seen that? Why have I? I have not seen or heard anything about that. Really? Are you living under a rock? Wow. Yeah. That's, that's I been guess out so. for a while now. <laughs> Holy shit. It's, it's not gonna... even out, but it's like a beta. I yeah. Think. They want you to pre-order it. I've been playing Warzone. They're, that's all they're fucking doing. Yeah. Promoting that game. But they're going to update Warzone. They're going to make an entirely different map just for Vanguard. Thank God. And what? They're going to make it a beach themed. So it's Thank like. God. I'm done with Verdansk. They need to detach Warzone from Modern Warfare. They need to detach Warzone in general. Like. But... Like, it, from, since... from any specific COD, honestly. Yeah. I think it should be its own thing, but it's getting the most of its content from those games. Who the fuck even plays Warzone? Like, I'll play Search, and if I'm against a hacker, I make it a mission to kill the hacker. With That's the fucking... Warzone. With War... Do you no, like Rebirth Warzone. Island? I never even tried that one. It looked really yeah. small, though, for as many it's people fun. as they allow on that shit. I think it's about like fifty people. I think, I but like it's, it's fun. More than that. With four people, it's fun. Yeah. God, imagine squatting up with four people and like you accidentally land in the same building as those four people. That is just die, repeat, die. Well, I meant like four teammates. Like, like if you no, have I three know, teammates. Yeah. No, I know. Like, <laughs> imagine you squat up with with three other people, and then some idiot, stupid, didn't see you guys drop there, lands in the same building, and he's like, "Ah, fuck!" See you in the lobby. Oh uh, yeah. For a time, I hated when I loved and hated when Warzone players came to Apex because it was <laughs> so fucking easy to kill them. <laughs> But then they had these ideas like, what if, I mean, Nick Merck said this, what if the Gulag was in Apex? Fuck off with that. That would fuck not off. work out. Yeah, fuck off with that. That is not, we were the birthers of respawning, I think. I think Fort, Fortnite had taken respawn yeah, games yeah, yeah, from yeah. us. 
and then Cod invented the Gulag, which I'm not saying is a horrible system. I well, think that's, that's kind of cool if you're taking a second chance. Life, yeah. But it's not Apex. Yeah. That ain't that would never I would I would break my shit if I died twice in a row on Apex. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I would legitimately break that happens, shit. bro. That happens no, no, all no. the time. No, 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 no. Like in the same game, it like immediately one after the other. If I yeah, died to a like bald wraith and then went into the gulag and saw this stupid ass lifeline three tap me with an Eva, I would break my shit. <laughs> I mean, there is like dying and then getting respawned almost instantly and then dying yeah, again. Bro. Right, but that's Wait, I'm that's pretty sure I've a died more twice. Or I've been respawned twice in a game before. Yeah, you have. And somehow and we we've still actually won. won. Yeah, somehow we've yeah. won those ones before too. And that's what I really like. Like I, I like the uh, oh shit, I can't respawn you here kind of factor because there's yeah. people. You're either gonna fight those motherfuckers that's and win, or you're gonna do. die trying. Yeah. I prefer that so much more. And then like. They have the Gulag and you can buy them back. Which I yeah. find interesting. I feel like that's so fuck. That just a it's... new layer of easy. But it's so spread out and money's very like. Um, then at times. Yeah, with worth than you need of... money for it. Apex is just. You respawn all day fucking long. Yeah. I don't know. I just. I feel like it was. Plus, there's the jailbreaks that makes everybody come back, and uh... Isn't I don't that... know. Jailbreaks Isn't was that just only a mode. At a certain time, yeah, that was yeah. a certain mode. No, that was, that was cool. It randomly happens in base gameplay, doesn't it? Like, isn't there like a event that happens in each uh, match? I think that was just for a certain event they were doing, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I think it was only for a limited time. That's weird. All right, never mind then. <laughs> uh, wow, we are almost at okay. our end here. So, before we talk about, wow, was that a tangent all the way from Halo? Holy fuck! Yep. <laughs> um, Hector just did this research legitimately before the fucking podcast and it, while he was mm -hmm. taking a shit. So, uh, Hector, what is Blood Hunt? Alright, so Blood Hunt, I just saw it today on TikTok and it looked pretty cool. Um, it's a battle royale and I'm pretty sure it's teams of three and it's, um, it's vampire based, which is mm -hmm. pretty cool. Oh, um, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think it's still in, um, Early access yeah. right now. Yeah. I think it was just released like this month, like early September. Um, and so yeah, it's battle royale, and it's kind of similar to Apex, how you have like two abilities and a passive ability. But um, is it like hyperscape where you pick up those abilities, or, or is it like base um, character? I don't know. I kind of think it's gonna be like how, um, what it was. I think it was like Black Ops Two or something. How like you choose a character with abilities before you get into a game. So it's like Apex. <laughs> oh yeah, like Apex. There's there's a few similarities <laughs> with Apex. It's like a class, and the class has like certain powers. I think so. Oh, yeah, like... and um, it's it's pretty cool. You can like scale buildings because you're a vampire, so you can. Just, I think just you can jump really high too. You can just climb up a whole ass fucking building like five stories. You can jump or. One of your abilities does something to, like it helps with mobility, and um, the gun system is similar to like basically all other games. Like there's, there's green, blue, purple. Yeah, there's guns. It's a battle royale. But you're yeah, vampires. it's like yeah. Are they so your vampires. Or is that a? It's actually thing? based off That's of an it's... RPG. It's a oh something the masquerade. Yeah, yeah, it was a uh, it was a board or table game like D and D. Uh, -uh. Not like it was based off of like an old RPG. Game. Let me look this up. Yeah, it was, it's, it's a like, role playing yeah. game, and it's got some like longer name, but people just call it Blood Hunt because it's easier. And um, yeah, it has guns, and it also has NPCs, which is kind of cool but kind of annoying. And NPCs are one of the methods you can use to heal, 
which I think is pretty cool. So you just like start sucking an NPC's blood, and then it heals your health. And then there's other ways to heal too, like little blood bags and like some stim thingy. That's um, interesting. Yeah, and then like not all of them, but some of the NPCs will shoot at you. Um, that sounds kind of like Fortnite, which is another reason I didn't really like Fortnite after the update, because like the NPCs confuse me. Yeah, the NPCs are super fucking annoying in Fortnite. But uh, yeah, and then um, I know when you get downed, I don't know if you can be like revived, but you like if you're just like sitting there for a while, you'll naturally get like revived. But once you're like dead, dead, um, I'm pretty sure your teammates can get you back somehow. I don't, I didn't watch that much research stuff, but I think it seems pretty fucking cool, and I would love to try it out. It's free as well. Um, I, what else I, see in it? I mean, I'll look into There's it. There's armor too, so like you can only use one armor thing at a time. Um, like it's not like you have to put three armor plates plate. on, like in Warzone, or like a certain amount of cells in chug Apex. Chug. A chug chug. <laughs> chug chug. Why didn't it make it like a giant blood bag? They just suck from it. Yeah, why, well, why, are, why, why don't they bags. just like take grandpa out the, of their back the pocket? Health. Oh, did Eric say that? <laughs> yeah, so they have different ways of healing. There's uh, sucking the blood from the NPCs, and then there's blood bags, and then there's little stim blood thingies, I think. Um, and then... Blood. Seems like there's pretty cool guns in it, too. There's a, there's a crossbow that shoots, like, caustic gas. Seems like it could be fun. Uh, there's snipers, pistols, ARs. Um, do they do they all just shoot wooden stakes? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> I I don't think so. Every single one is just a wooden stake automatic. <laughs> just tiny little wood bullets. Yep. All right. Um, uh, that's all right. I guess. Download Probably. it. We're gonna try it out soon. I guess we'll try it out. Maybe Mine's we'll downloading right now. What the fuck is that dog doing? Holy shit. I see What's the dog doing? Being... What'd that dog do? I don't know. It's going crazy. Um, Alright. Last topic of the podcast that we're going to talk about, which we've kind of been talking about in a way, but our childhood games that we had grown up with... Um, and that kind of made us into the gamers we are today. Kelly, I'd no, like boy. for you to go first because you uh, actually wrote down this topic. So, Cool. All right. Well, ever since I was little, I didn't really grow up with much consoles. I had my dad old, my dad's old Xbox, the very first one. And then we were got lucky one Christmas and got a Wii. So I was like, cool. Um, my dad introduced me to tomb raider uh like tomb raider legends underworld the anniversary Ooh. and i just played the shit out of those great. games that was like that just like opened my mind i was like that is so fucking cool she can do all these flips it was like my introduction to like cool badass woman and hmm. i loved it she was like take very far. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> also the first halos the first halos was like so much fucking fun like Halo 1 oh, and yeah. 2, I played the shit out of. That's pretty sick. Would you say, yeah. like, those uh, games influence your current game library today? Sort of. It's, like, Tomb Raider is kind of like the model I kind of want to make a game after. With, right. like, a cool female protagonist and just the ability to just, like, run and gun and maybe do a backflip. Um, maybe do a backflip. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> what um what age are we talking here? Uh I mean really just like whatever you like re whatever games you remember the most and had the most uh connection right. with, I think. Well Kelly specifically, like the games you just said, like what age would you say you like started getting into it all? Like elementary school, like probably like nine till middle school. I was really okay. like in Tomb Raider. Mm -hmm. I even enjoyed gymnastics because I want to learn how to do this fucking cool <laughs> shit. I want to learn how to do like the, the spinning on the fucking bar. That was so cool to me. 
Uh, it's not. Uh, it sounds like a legitimate reason, if anything. You know what? I think that's so fucking interesting. I think my sister did the same thing, actually. No, I really? think she literally played Tomb Raider and then joined gymnastics because of Tomb Raider. Oh wow. I, I was the wrong. nerdiest fucking kid in that gym. I was like pretending to do like the animations that she did, and I was like, I'm not learning all this fast enough, so I ended up just quitting. <laughs> I was yeah. like the gayest little kid. Yeah, I was I embarrassing. Was gayest oh, God. Kid. <laughs> like my role models are like Catwoman and Lara Croft, so I guess uh, that's not bad role models, but you you, you learn to be a bad like, bitch that way. <laughs> Like, I got kind of, like, segregated away from the other kids because of that reason. Like, they didn't understand. It's like, why this? That's stupid. I think I think if they actually sat down and played Tomb Raider, they'd understand. They were Call of Duty kids. They really didn't pay that much attention to those kind of games. Yeah, that's what I fucking hate. I hate that. I hate that so much. Fucking... Call of Duty kids that are only still Call of Duty kids that never branched out. Fucking dumb. Hate that. Ouch. Well, that's You're even if they even played video you, you games. Play, you played like several of your things. Huh? I was for a good long ass time. You you play in Apex. You like that? I mean, you played a lot of. You played some Spellbreak with us. You played Smash Fortnite Bros. when I was out. Smash Bros. Fucking love Smash Bros. Yeah, you want to play Blood Hunt? It's not. It's not just you're continuously yeah. playing Call of Duty to this well, day. Well, like also Call of Duty kind of went to shit, and well, then yeah. Modern Warfare came out and it was amazing, and then fucking Cold War. I don't even want to look at. Yeah, Cold War was pretty bad. We're not even gonna talk about Vanguard. Yeah. I, I mean, anyway. apparently we don't even have to. He has no idea what it is. <laughs> How yeah. the fuck did you get on TikTok and see a clip for Blood Hunt before you saw anything about Vanguard? I don't know. All right. That's so fucking. I mean, like I swear I've even talked to you about Vanguard. I like never see any COD clips or anything on my TikTok anymore either. I can't remember the last time I. Saw I see a Warzone like people clip. like building classes like, oh, you have to use this in Warzone. It's disgusting. <laughs> I fucking. Like that. I used to get those all the time. Thank God I don't anymore. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway, childhood games. Childhood What's, games. Let's go next. Um, um, I volunteer to contribute. Okay. Um, so I'm going back to like young, young. I think we had the really old Nintendo. I don't know if it was the N64. Fuck, I don't know. There was. I don't know if it was Nintendo or the PS1. It was gray, and it had these, like, clunky uh, cartridge games. Kind of like the Game Boy, but... You're talking like, about yeah, the fucking Nintendo? Huge. Like the size of your phone now. I think... Are you, was that are Nintendo? you talking about the Nintendo? Just the original Nintendo? I'm not sure what it was. I was so fucking young, but it was, you like, it was a gray box. Thing. What were yeah. the controllers? Like, were they squares? Or rectangles, rather? Uh, no, it wasn't that one. They were like, I think it was the first PlayStation. Maybe I'll look uh, up the picture. It was not the first PlayStation. PlayStation didn't okay. have cartridges. Okay. Well, then I guess it was a Nintendo. Yeah. So Those there, are it was probably a 64. Well, um, other than that, fucking, of course, there was the GameCube. And this one game on the GameCube, it was the Ninja Turtles game. Oh, I <laughs> loved that fucking game. I didn't know you fucked with the Turtles. Anyone else play the Ninja Turtles game on GameCube? I I never actually owned a GameCube, so no. What? Yeah. You're a gamer and you never had a GameCube? I had a DS. That was my first uh, console. Damn, GameCube was the shit. Fucking Mario Kart, the Ninja Turtles game. I had a Spider-Man 2 on my GameCube. Oh, I think I did I had that. that on, I had that on uh, PS2. I had one of those. <sighs> I loved Spider-Man 2. Oh, oh loved man. it. I can't wait for my turn now. I know exactly what I'm going to say. Damn. <sighs> Continue, Hulk. Um, what else did I play? Um, the Wii was fucking fantastic in that age. Oh, yeah. Um, Mind-blowing. 
What else? My dad had, a, like, all the consoles, really, when I was a kid. But I didn't start playing, like, actually being a gamer until, like, until I started becoming a COD kid. Like, I first played World at War, and I was, like, seven, seven or eight years old. And that one was really fun, but I only ever played the campaign. And it was, like, so cool. And then once, um, I think it had been a couple games, like, Mono, or World at War came out, and that was the first one I played, but I didn't, I don't think I played it until after another few games came out, because the next one I played was World War, or Modern Warfare 2. And that's when I started playing online. And after a bit, I got my own Xbox... And then Black Ops came out. Uh, what a, that was oh, the good old it's days. It's so oh crazy. I mean, everyone loved the original Modern Warfares. I actually hated the original Modern Warfares. And then they came oh. out with... Because um, I, I loved BO2. And, that's, and I realized, oh, these are two different companies making these games. I loved BO2. And I think it's crazy thinking now it's like, holy shit, Modern Warfare is so much better than Cold War. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a landslide. By a landslide, landslide. Mm. I, I think it's crazy how, like, you switch teams nowadays. Yeah. But uh, other games, my dad had the PlayStation 2 as well. And what there was this old, like, um, not. I don't. I think it was like a monster truck game or something. Was it Monster it? Jam? It might have been Monster Jam. Oh fuck! I think we might have been game buddies. <laughs> there were <laughs> there were some. I don't know. I really liked driving games and like yeah uh, stuff with like off roading and like ATVs and dirt bikes and ooh ATV I... versus MX unleashed. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I literally saw a guy's T-shirt today that had like a uh, like a overpass on it, and I was like, holy shit! I remember shredding the fuck out of a broken overpass in <laughs> MX versus ATV unleashed, and like you can use it and you can drive a monster truck in that too. Yeah, that shit was awesome. Any more? Any more? I know there's gotta be more. Oh, Crash Bandicoot! Oh my Crash god, Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot. There you go. That was a good one. Fucking, um, what, like, a few months ago or something, I don't know. But Alicia, or my sister, for the viewers, me and her, uh, she has it on her husband's Xbox, at the trilogy, and we were playing it one night, and the controls are so hard now. Yeah, like, it feels with how so good much mobility harder. is on modern games, like yeah. it was such a challenge to be good at it. Like yeah. it would get you mad. It'll get you mad, especially it's as a actually... little kid. Yeah. yeah, I threw fucking hissy fits if I couldn't fucking finish a level. <laughs> my mom yelled at me. <laughs> yeah, we'd we'd spend <laughs> like thirty minutes on one level at a time, just taking turns. Getting pissed, giving it to the other person. Not mad. Not mad. <laughs> oh, I mean, such a funny yeah, game no. Though. I think that's. I thought I was interesting uh, playing. I have the trilogy as well, and I remember playing that with my dad, and I was like, "This was not this hard when I was a kid." I swear right. to God. <laughs> this is, I and my swear dad to God. was like, and my dad was playing it, and he's just like, "What the fuck." This <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> this is not that hard before. I would have remembered that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, are you done, Hector? Um, aside from console games, I remember there was this one. I ha I think it was on the Game Boy. There was this Beyblade game. No sh way on Game Boy or DS? Cause I had the I had the DS one. It might have and been on the DS. Bakugan one. Well, I I think I did have it on Game Boy, and it's like you're like you are the Beyblade, and like you would have to go through like an obstacle course or whatever that's like floating in the sky or something. I, like that sound. I feel like I feel like I only had it on DS. Bro, you're unlocking so many memories. Mine's gonna be so long. I'm gonna have a fucking long. I'm really ass trying to channel right my fucking deepest memories here. You're unlocking mine. 
Hmm. Holy shit. Man, that Beyblades game, though. That really... Yeah. That was a fun one for me. Let it yeah. rip. Let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> and it was weird because, like, I was into Beyblades as a kid. Um, not like a crazy amount, like a little bit. Like I had the game and right. I had a few Beyblades, and then like I grew out of it. And then when I was like around thirteen or fourteen, my little brother got into it, and him and yeah. his little friend, they um, like my brother had so many Beyblades. They had stadiums. They were Beyblading every fucking day, and it's so crazy because there's an eight year gap between me and my brother. Right. And yeah, it had no. been so much time. Kids today are still playing with Beyblades, and I think that's yeah. insane. Like, uh, Bakugan didn't age super well. Some people still play Bakugan, yeah. but, like, there's kids who love Beyblade. And yeah. I actually, uh, there's a horrible, there's, like, a, a void period of Beyblade where, like, they had, like, the Bay Wheels or some shit like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those were so fucking stupid. Like, just, just stick with it, you know? Um, yeah. But, so they had... It, it, back in my day, the last Beyblade item I ever received was on a Christmas. I got the 360 Stadium, where you, like, put your Beyblade in this little, like, thing that, like, would make like, it uh, like fly it was all like around the circuit. Yeah. Yeah. It would fly all around the sphere, and they would hit each other like that. That was a fucking fun one. Yeah. Do you guys see that uh, some kids use, like, um, their bathtub as, like, a baby Beyblade arena? What? And just, God, just I wish it was that it. smart. Uh, uh, they, they destroyed <laughs> the sidings of the fucking tub. Really? And it, yeah. It was, like, a whole meme back then. And, like, this mom, like, posted a picture, like, on Facebook of the kids holding their Beyblades and crying. <laughs> and oh they were just God. making fun of the mom, like, adding her kids' heads inside the bag and the char holding it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like kids for sale how much or something like that oh my god damn <laughs> oh fuck uh, I was about to I uh, mean you heard me I was about to say damn I wish I was that smart that would have been a sick ass stadium oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well yeah is, well, your you... is it my turn is it Hold on, hold on. We can't forget Pokemon, though. Oh, no, I'm bringing that up. Don't worry about it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Deepest, darkest, not darkest, but deepest, most amazing memories I have. Here we go. PS2. I played two games on that shit repetitively. Ben 10 Protector of Earth, which is one of the, still one of the best games of all time, I'm telling you. It was so good. I didn't even know Ben 10 had a video game. It was so good. You can fight Enoch when he had like the giant night suit and like oh my god, it was so much From fucking fun. What? No, Enoch. I'm kidding. I'm who the kidding. fuck is who the fuck is Enoch in Star Trek? What? Is Enoch. I don't remember that. Enoch. Anyway. Anyway, All right, go uh, on, go on. you can pl you. Can I played Ben Ten Protector of Earth, and then I also played uh, Marvel's. Uh... Oh fuck! What was it called? It was it just Marvel's Alliance. Assemble Alliance? Yes, Jesus Christ! That was yep. so much fucking fun. Oh my god, that one was awesome, and Ben Ten was awesome. Moving from that. I used to go to my buddy uh, Tristan's house, and he was playing one of two things. He had an Xbox 360, and he had a DS. And with the DS, he was playing Pokemon Diamond. And oh, with the Xbox, hmm. he was playing Assassin's Creed. Now you see where I'm getting at, right? <laughs> I fucking went to his house solely to play his video games and not talk to him for three hours. I Jesus. I mean Damn. I would watch him and like look at like his Pokemon like obviously I wasn't gonna play his Pokemon, but I really wanted to. <laughs> uh, so what I did, uh, I think I don't know if it was the same Christmas, but I got a DS and my mom got me uh, Fire Red to go oh. with the DS. Ooh. 
and fire red like what a fucking game to start with honestly because holy that was shit, the, the first one is a it's a, a remake of the right? first one yep yeah and uh fire red uh for those who wouldn't know for some fucking reason uh fire red was the canto uh remake back then which had squirtle bulbasaur and charmander Obviously, I chose Charmander. Who wouldn't? Are you sure it was Fire Red or was it Ruby Red? No, it's Fire Red. Ruby is a Fire completely Ruby. separate game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ruby's a separate game. Which, actually, leading in, my next game was Ruby. And after that, I got Platinum. Because for some reason, uh, Platinum. I think Platinum had to have come out like. Pretty, not super far after Diamond and Pearl, but decently far after Diamond and Pearl, because I got that pretty close to its release date, I think. But I got Platinum, and since then, Platinum has been my favorite Pokemon game, uh, like, ever. Um, if we, if he wasn't playing Assassin's Creed, we were playing Halo together. So that's where my love of Halo 3 came from, because I used to play that with him all the fucking time. We used to do Forge, we used to do the... We played on that sand map. You guys know what I'm talking about? The sand temple? Mm, so. The one that has, like, the buried ruins, and, like, there's, like, uh... There's, like, a wraith spawn, which was the, uh... Giant Covenant tank. Uh, and like a giant elephant spawn and a uh, I think a banshee was at the top or is, no a grav hammer was at the top of that bitch that was crazy we used to play that map exclusively all the time and Valhalla Valhalla was fucking sick um after my halo days I did jump heavy into cod because i was playing a lot of uh bo2 but i still was playing halo um but as well as that because of my friend tristan i played a ton of assassin's creed and i and i ended up starting to collect assassin's creeds because i for some reason i started off with assassin's creed 2 and not the first one because i always watched him play the first one so i already knew how it ended so I did that. Second one's pretty good. That was my favorite. Oh, yeah, no, it's, every, it's everyone's favorite. Second and Brotherhood is everyone's favorite because everyone loves Ezio. Ezio's Ezio. pretty great. Ezio Aditori da Florence. It's me, Ezio. Recriesta de Pace. I probably said that wrong still. But, um. Yeah, no, Assassin's Creed has been a fucking huge thing. Ooh! Back to DS days, I still like all of this is still in relative DS days too. Like the 360 and DS were like the same time for me, as well as the Wii. Holy fuck! This is a long <laughs> podcast. Holy shit! Anyway, <laughs> um, DS. Uh, one year I didn't ask for the Pokemon game because I don't think they had. I don't think they made one that year. Uh, and my parents are like, you don't want a, you don't want a Pokemon game? I was like, no, I want Fossil Fighters. And let me tell you, Fossil Fighters is a fucking gem that no one ever Fossil played. Fighters. Fossil Fighters was like, so you would dig up all these fossils, clean them up as best as you could, and then uh, they would resurrect the dinosaur and you battle with the dinosaurs. And that ended up, you ended up with a girlfriend with amnesia and then you had to shake your ass to remind her shit. It's a what? whole fucking thing. It was so much fun. Like, if is you. A game? Yeah, this is a game on the DS. If you guys want to emulate any game on your computer, for the love of God, play Fossil Fighters. It was so much fun. Hmm. So you wake a dinosaur up just to kick its ass. No, you wake a dinosaur up so you own it, and then you use that dinosaur to kick other dinosaur asses. It's like playing Pokemon, but you resurrect the Pokemon. It's like playing God and watching. <laughs> yeah, it's like playing each other. Pokemon. Well, I mean, think about <laughs> this: uh, if you didn't have those dinosaurs to battle with, you wouldn't have beaten the giant space monster trying to consume the entire Earth, huh? Huh? So why beat up other dinosaurs? Why not just have everyone team up? 
their dinosaurs together to because you already beat everyone's ass and there's like a team rocket kind of situation where like uh, these guys are trying i forgot what their whole mission was i don't think they even really had a purpose in the game besides being annoying because uh, at the end of the game they're like kind of on your side too so that's really weird i don't know but uh you kick this giant space monster's ass and in order to save yourself you have to fossilize yourself and uh your girlfriend and when you crash land back on earth fossilized um uh, you come out fine but she comes out with amnesia and then there's this fucking indian guy who comes out he's just like you have to shake your ass it'll remind her who you are and and oh, then at the very end of the game she kisses you so cute. Oh. yeah it was hot that's, that's... it was really hot I can't. Fossil Fighters is a fucking hidden gem, dude. Fossil Fighters was such a good fucking game. It was so good. Oh my god. Oh, wow. what a great time that was. Um, no, I really on... want a Game Boy again. <laughs> well, no, this is on DS. That too. I want both. Yeah. Yeah. We'll I just get a, get a DS, DS that can make uh, Game Boy games. That I can play Game Boy games. Yeah. 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 Regular. DS could do yeah. both. Yeah. The fucking okay. So on the Wii, I played exclusive. I played Mario Galaxy two, and then I played like a fuck ton of uh, Sonic games. Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic and the Secret of the Ring, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors, and I can't remember if I played it on the Wii or not. But I also played uh, Sonic. Uh, fuck the it was the anniversary one it was uh you know the one where he's like with pat sonic generations there you go i played mm. all of those and i loved it fuck off anyone who has who hates sonic games i love sonic games i love them they're fun Old sonic games are cool i love every sonic game Except for maybe forces. Sonic O six. I'm I'm actually thinking. Okay, well, let's well, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. Everyone just sits on that, but I that's actually another one of the games that my buddy had. Another he had Sonic O six, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. But I didn't know it was actually like kind of a shit game. Oh, can I mean, tell yeah, a story real quick? Yeah, go for it. So my dad got me Sonic O six, and it was on the Xbox three sixty. And we kept on getting new ones because uh, we got the Thrones of Death and it always blew on us. So that was like, one of my very first games I played on there. And I was like fucking around in that little town. And then I like clipped through a wall and I was like, what? So I was like, hey, Paige, my sister, uh, Eggman trapped me in this wall. And she's like, what? How? <laughs> He's not even in this one. And you were just freaking out. And I told her and she had, like, punching me about it the fuck that's like my you... little story wait what what do you mean she's he's not even in that one well she thought like the hub was safe so there wasn't any enemies in there and she didn't oh, see it oh okay so okay, she okay. thought yeah okay so you're just trying to make a glitch into a wholesome moment gotcha not really wholesome Which i wanted to trick her oh you want to fuck with her okay <laughs> <laughs> yep I mean, I never even got Sonic 06. I only, like, ever watched people play it or, like, played it on their console, so. Um, You're lucky. Never touched that foul beast. <laughs> you didn't grow some hair on your chest. <laughs> Man, it grew up with uh, Sonic 06. Damn. Come out as veterans. Come out as veterans. <laughs> I mean, there's people who played Shadow the Hedgehog. Can you fucking imagine that? I saw there's, like a little no clip of him there. like cocking like a AR. Yeah, he had a he Glock in an yeah. AR. Yeah. In the Shadow the Hedgehog game, you have a chopper, you have a Glock, and you have a fucking AR. Because they were trying to make Shadow super edgy, but it's still a fucking hedgehog. The hell. <laughs> yeah. I Why was do they the do that? Like, Who are I they appealing know. to do that? <laughs> I they were trying to be really, really edgy with this one. I don't know. Um, Teenagers, maybe, but um, I mean, I feel like there's more, but 
unfortunately, we're literally at an hour and a half, so I should probably wrap the podcast. Damn. All right. <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, who has been listening this entire time about our rants about... Uh, Honestly, there's Video been a lot in this fucking podcast. And Holy shit. Chipotle um, and... Yeah, there's just been so much shit in this podcast. <laughs> Holy hell. Uh, Kelly, thank you for coming on for this episode. Hopefully we see you in any future ones. Um, hell yeah. Remember, guys, to leave down in the comments your ideas for names for the podcast and uh, just any way that we can improve topic it in general. Topic suggestions would be fucking sick because we suck at ass. At, we do that shit like last second, I swear to God. Uh, but yeah, so just so you know, uh, like another episode, I think, or so, like after the next episode, if there's no suggestions for the name, we will be called Camping Buddies, just so you Camping know. Camping Buddies? I'm rooting yeah, for yeah. it. He's rooting for it. Alright, guys. Thank you for listening. See ya. Later. See ya.